What started out as just a normal day working at the chip shop turned out to be a day that would change Narinda Sidhu's life forever. Friday the 7th of November 2014, Mr Sidhu was at work. He was joined by his then 16-year-old daughter Simran, who was home from school. They had planned to go to the temple at 3 o'clock, but lost track of time. Quarter past three, my daughter goes as a customer in the shop. And then I remember saying to her, Simran, I looked at the clock, I said, you're supposed to remind me that we're at three o'clock, we was going to go to the temple. And uh, then I walked out from the back and said yes, please, to this, cat, uh, this, this customer, who I thought was a customer. And um, he didn't look right. He was frog marching back and forth in the shop and mumbling to himself, do I look like an idiot? Do I look like an idiot? And um, I didn't know what to say to that. So I just sort of took a step back from the counter and saw him leave the shop, then come back in again and go through the same procedure. But I did remember that time I said to him, if you don't tell me what your problem is, I can't help you. The man left the shop again, only to return a short time later. He kicked and smashed the door, setting off the fire alarm. Once again, he disappeared. Mr Sidhu went to assess the damage. It was then the attacker struck. It was this point right here where Narinda was attacked. It happened at 19 minutes past three where he was stabbed multiple times. In just under 10 minutes, he was in the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. It's in those moments he believed his life was saved. Those vital many seconds in my mind, Simon's calmness for the first few minutes or seconds, what it may be, calling the authorities, calling people. She actually ran outside, well, where, where I was getting attacked after she called the authorities, she ran outside screaming for help. Um, as, a, as a young girl, young daughter, 16 year old at the time, for her to see and go through what she was going through, she held herself together for those few vital seconds to achieve the attention of passers-by and stuff. Actually saved my life because the paramedics was that quick. It was unbelievable from what I could work out. Here seen fleeing from the scene is 29-year-old Leon McTaggart. He was found guilty of causing grievous bodily harm with intent and sentenced to 14 years in jail. Mr Sidhu was stabbed five times, once in the abdomen, twice in the arm and twice in the back. The shop was left like a bloodbath. He was left for dead. When I was on the floor, that's when I realised the severity of the, the situation. Uh, I can hear people saying he's been stabbed multiple times and the paramedics were working on me. And, and I, I do remember seeing, thinking, quick flashes, where's my mum? Where's my dad? Where's my baby daughter? Uh, my wife. I remember seeing my daughter there, hysterically looking at me. And I remember saying bye to her. And I will never forget that moment. <clears throat> it was pretty horrendous. I don't wish upon anybody. Um, but I do remember I won't see them again. Um, Whilst in surgery, some of his relatives were told he wouldn't make it. A year and a half on, and Mr Sidhu struggles. He can't lift properly, which affects his work and everyday life. He says one thing that helped both him and his family through was the kindness and support shown by the local community. They couldn't do enough for me and my wife and my family. I would like to thank everybody for their true generosity and kindness. And I'd like to thank all the staff and the management for all their hard work through our dark time and up to now. Simply Fish and Chips is going from strength to strength, but despite this, Mr Sidhu says his life has been turned upside down. Physically, mentally, uh, the way I judge people, um, it's completely the whole prospect of looking at everything now has totally changed. There's somebody up there who said it's not my time. You know, you want to stay down here and look after your kids and your family. And um, I'm, great, I'm grateful for that, for a second chance in life, just to be here for my children, if anything else. That's what's keeping me going now. I'm, I'm living every moment, every breath. I'm treating it very precious.
Lois Swinnerton for the Midland in Oldbury.